Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Wednesday, February 15th. And do be careful out on the road last night. We had winter weather advisories, especially for the northern MAC areas. For the uh, showers that we had to move through that quickly turned uh, to some snow showers, froze on the roads and created some very slippery conditions. So watch out for black ice out there this morning. And for the headlines, we got some much warmer uh, conditions coming up after a couple of cold days today and tomorrow. Then we'll see temperatures climb into the 40s on Friday into the 50s on uh, Saturday and well into the 50s uh, right on through the middle or into the next week with maybe even a couple of days possibly getting above 60. Right now it looks like Monday or Tuesday could be the warmest days. And you can see down below some very warm conditions coming up over the next uh, two weeks along with uh, increasingly uh, a wetter uh, pattern setting up. So we could see some uh, springtime like thunderstorms perhaps towards the end of next week. If we look at the uh, normals for the day, our normal high is now up to 32. So after uh, tomorrow, one more day of normal highs of 32, we won't see uh, normal highs uh, below freezing again until next winter. And you can see the normal low 14 on this date uh, about two years ago, 13.6 degrees below zero. And uh, if we look at the conditions around the uh, lower 48 yesterday, the warmest temperature, 85 degrees at Death Valley, California, and the cold spot, eight below zero at Wisdom, Montana. If we look at conditions around the MAC area yesterday, you can see temperatures mainly in the 40s, high temperature 48 down at Jasper, the lowest temperature down to about 26 degrees uh, or about minus three Celsius over at uh, St. Thomas. And we picked up seven hundredths of an inch of rain and snow here in the Breckenridge area. Again, about a half an inch, maybe a little less than a half inch of uh, snowfall. And if we look at conditions around the area this morning, you can see temperatures pretty chilly into the upper 20s. That's still a little above normal. And again, we're going to continue uh, with two more days of cold uh, temperatures before we really warm things up as we get into the weekend. Right now, the weekend looks fantastic with lots of sunshine. You can see the reason for the cold air or wind flow coming right out of Canada right now. And again, until we see that wind switch across to the uh, southwest, will continue to be cold. And over the next 24 hours, this is the area we've got preconditioned air coming across Lake Superior and Lake Michigan, giving much of the five uh, big snow belt counties in lower Michigan a chance for several inches of snow here over the next day or so, along with areas mainly across the eastern portions of the Lake Superior shoreline where they can see several inches there as well. If we look at the radar this morning, you can see some of those lake effect bands now getting set up and they should get pretty well established and coming right down into northwest lower Michigan. Also some snow showers left over here in the Thumb area. So again, be careful out there in the roadways for that black ice. You can see on this morning's weather map, the low pressure system now well off to our east where any uh, northwest flow with a cold high pressure system up in Canada and that'll be uh, sinking to the southeast. Eventually we'll see a low pressure system out here drop across the uh, Midwest but it's going to be moisture starved so we don't expect any uh, precipitation with that as we get towards the end of the week but we will see after that system moves by a more zonal flow set up and that'll allow our temperatures to warm quite a bit especially once these high pressure systems move well off to the east we'll get into a deep southerly and southwesterly flow as we get into the weekend and for much of next week. And again, you can see this weak low pressure system, no moisture associated with it, maybe some clouds, and that'll zip off to the east and we'll see the warm conditions really begin to uh, set up after that. If you look at the precipitation over the next seven days, a lot of moisture in the Gulf. The Gulf of Mexico uh, water temperatures are very, very warm compared to normal. And again, once we get into the spring, this is gonna be a good source for moisture for storms to uh, pick up and deliver towards the Great Lakes. And you can see uh, this precipitation here, about a quarter to a half inch or a little more. This isn't going to be until day six, so very little precipitation expected across the MAC area here over the next five or six days. And if we look at the uh, uh, snowfall here over the next uh, three days, 72 hours, most of it coming here over the next 18 to 24 hours, you can see the eastern end of the UP and the big five counties in northwest uh, lower Michigan. Uh, those are the areas we expect could, could pick up a couple of inches, maybe a few inches of snow there. So that's good news for up in the uh, ski uh, areas up to the northwest. And if we look at the uh, next shot, you can see this is the uh, Southern Oscillation Index. And uh, we've talked about why we've got this very warm ridging across the eastern U.S. We've been very positive here since really the uh, last day of January. And we expected a big crash to develop, and we're starting to see that now. Yesterday we had uh, minus one compared to the 30-day average. This morning it's really crashed. We, I would not be surprised to see some negatives, 30s, 40s, maybe even 50s. And if that happens, look for uh, a very stormy pattern to set up across the eastern U.S. here over the next uh, uh, 
about 10 days to two weeks as I th think we'll start to see a lot of moisture come this way. And it should uh, also mean some colder temperatures eventually. And we'll just see how that pans out. We'll see how deep and how uh, long lasting this uh, negative crash is on the SOI. And if we look at weather watch this morning, again, not a lot going on in Great Lakes. We got some uh, uh, lake effect situations across Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, and across the eastern UP. That's really about it, other than some gale warnings and some freezing spray uh, advisories across the uh, Great Lakes. Other than that, it's uh, pretty calm out there. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day. And 73s to all.